Hi, uh, today's topic is related to retirement of Office 365 connectors within Microsoft Teams. So we used to create uh, incoming webhook or uh, different third party connectors in uh, Microsoft Teams channels earlier, right? So using that connectors, you can uh, post messages or adaptive cards to the Teams channels uh, or from outside of the Teams. So if you, it will just create some webhook type of URL and uh, you can post messages using call command or you can post using postman, uh, different post calls, right? You can do it uh, from outside of Teams and the messages will appear in Teams channels. So it is to happen like that. So, for example, uh, let me just show what I was referring. So, in Microsoft, any of the Teams channels, right? If you just click on uh, Manage Channel here, you will get Connectors Edit option here. Here, it will show the list of connectors available here. So, you can add new connectors. These are some third party connectors, and uh, this is the incoming connector also available. So if you just create it, right, uh, it will just create a add incoming webhook app to your Teams channel and also it gives some URL, webhook URL. So using that, you can post messages to this particular uh, uh, Teams channel. So th that is how it, it, it works. But uh, based on the uh, latest update from the Microsoft or based on this blog post, right, uh, this feature is getting retired. So retirement of Office 65 connectors happening uh, based on the dates mentioned here, right? So earlier, uh, it, this was the dates like uh, from August 15th, uh, all new connector creation will be blocked. And from October 1st, uh, already existing connectors also will be stopped. Okay. So, uh, but uh, it seems uh, the dates were revised now. So existing connectors might work till uh, December 31st, 2024, uh, but, a new, but the new connector creation is still in the same dates. By August 15th, uh, you will not be able to create the new connectors here. So people or organizations, whoever using these uh, list of connectors or uh, incoming webhook or different type of connectors, right? They need to check for workaround solution here. So, uh, related to that workaround solution, uh, I will just showcase. This can be done using a workflows app uh, within Microsoft Teams itself. So it, I will just showcase that how it can be done. So for example, if you we have an app called Workflows app, so you can just find that app in the app section and install it. So here in the Workflows app, right, there are some templates available here. So for example post to a channel when a webhook request is received. So if you just use this template, let me just create the workflow using this template. So here it is showing workflow app added successfully. Uh, workflow added successfully, not the app. Workflow added successfully and the incoming webhook URL is created here. Okay. so wherever you are using uh, postman or some uh, application or using call commands right or using powershell scripts you can send the post request to this particular url uh, so that this workflow will trigger and whatever actions you want to perform uh, in this trigger you can handle it within the power automate so let me just showcase how this works or what is the functionality here so using this template, right? Uh, yeah, so this is a, a triggering point in the Power Automate when your team's webhook request is received. So this is the URL which you need to use it. You can copy it or you will have an option like a, a anyone can trigger or any user in my tenant or specific users in my tenant, right? You can define that uh, specific triggers here. Okay, so using that, you will be able to uh, copy this uh, webhook URL. And here, right, this default template is just looping through this for each loop. And based on the content, whatever you are receiving as a post request to this webhook URL, right? So it will be used and it is sending postcard in a chart or channel. So this uh, connector or this uh, action within this power automate, right? It actually posts a card into Teams channel. 
so for example here you can uh, mention what teams channel you want to post it or what team you want to post it and within that team what channel you want to post it so you can define that steps here and whatever card adaptive card pass to this particular url that particular card content uh, will be uh, will be passed to this particular action here so once you click on save so yeah that's it uh, this workflow creation is successful uh, it, it it was it's done uh, the de uh, development or configuration right these steps are done so how you want to how you trigger this particular url so as i said this can be done uh, using multiple steps like uh, using for example if you are using call commands right so this is the syntax we sh shown here but here the syntax was talking about how to post the co content into as a text only not the adaptive card so this might will not work as it is in this case because this workflow is expecting adaptive card here and for each loop so this may say this section may fail for each loop section will fail if you just pass this content but you need to pass some adaptive card here in the same way, if you use uh, PowerShell also, this also text, so this may not work the syntax. So I just created a different syntax here. I will give this link in the uh, video comments. So description, you can find it. So for example, this is the uh, PowerShell script. Okay. So in this PowerShell script, I just given some default adaptive code or simple adaptive code to post it. And uh, here you just need to pass this particular uh, whatever webhook URL is getting created here in this workflow you can just pass that webhook url so that whenever you run this powershell script command right so this adaptive code will be posted into your respective team channel so in your automation whatever content you want to pass uh, you may need to replace that particular section with that uh, piece here so respect adaptive code can be uh, replaced here so that the content whatever you want to post into this web uh, team channel using this webhook that can be done updated here so in the same way uh, if you want to do it using call command uh, yeah this is the syntax again it is the same way uh, just as template card and or it just replace this part with your webhook url so when you run this command uh, then uh, wherever you configured right the respective team channel that particular team channel uh, whenever somebody post right it this power automate will trigger and it will get into this action and it will post that message into the respective teams channel so if you want to perform any other actions definitely you can add those or you can customize this one based on your requirement uh, that is about uh, posting uh, or uh, rip alternate solution for this retirement of office 65 connectors so this is how you can uh, uh, replace or whatever you want to configure using uh, workflows app right so this way uh, you can do it just let me in case of any questions on the comments so that maybe i will try to clarify so these are the uh, sample script available call command and uh, uh, script to post but if you don't post the adaptive card uh, to this particular uh, team channel uh if you just post the message it will fail this for each section will fail it requires only the adaptive card so that's why i was uh, referring the particular uh, samples okay that is about one thing and another case is so you your teams right your um, existing up uh, teams organizations right so there might be some connectors already created or a lot of connectors configured so as an admin, you don't know where on all, all these connectors was created so that you can inform uh, respect to team owners, people, right, uh, to uh, choose for this workaround solution. Uh, for that, there is no direct solution, uh, but uh, what you can do is maybe you need to run some PowerShell script uh, to loop through all the teams in the particular organization and from each particular uh, team, you need to get the list of installed apps in the tenant in the list of installed apps in the tenant if you find the connector app then you need to consider as that particular team has connectors app 
so it can be done only through that powershell or you can do some using the graph api right you can retrieve the list of apps installed in each time channel and identify uh, where and all these connectors was configured in your respect to uh, uh, team channels so that is the only way to get it uh, to get the list of teams where the apps where the connectors are added yeah thank you thanks for watching